I'm back. Back, we back, we back, we back, we back. If you're new here, I'm April Christine. Welcome to my channel. If you're not new here, then you know why I'm hyped. You know if you saw my last video that I'm back. I'm back. You're back. We're back. Let's rekindle this relationship. Let's get this party going. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Hi. Let's get it started. In here. As you can see from the title, it's another Amazon haul but it is a wedding edition. As you guys know, I am planning a wedding. I know we're tired of hearing about it. I know we're tired of stressing about it, but if I already buy everything from Amazon, why would I not also buy my wedding things from Amazon? That, that doesn't make any sense. So here we are. I'm gonna show you guys all the goodies that I've gotten on Amazon. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And today, you know what? We're not gonna talk about the people who haven't subscribed. We're not gonna talk about the people who come back every video and still haven't subscribed. No. Today we're going to embrace our nice, loving, caring, kind, supportive, all that good stuff. We're going to talk about you. We're going to salute you. So shout out to you if you've been subscribed since day one. I know I have a few of y'all out here that have been subscribed since day one. You always come back. You always show me love. So you know what? Shout out to you, boo-boo. You're the real one. You're the real MVP. You're the reason I keep coming back. You're the reason I enjoy making content. You are the reason. I love you. Thank you so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And let's get started. Amazon literally takes all my money, only it's Horace's money. And I mean, sorry, lovey. I'm so sorry, but I don't know what we do. We have Prime and it's literally the most addicting thing in the entire world. I have bought a lot of things on Amazon. So we're gonna go in categories. I have things kind of broken down. Some of them are fairly inexpensive, but some of them I feel like it could be cheaper. You know what I mean? Did I still buy it? <laughs> Obviously. Do you know me at all? Of course you do. Things for weddings I've learned are just extremely overpriced for, for what? I don't know why, but they are. For me and my wedding, I know I wanted a big, beautiful venue and that's what I got. But also I knew I didn't want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands and go into more debt because we all know my private school education put me in debt, but that's not the point. I'm not trying to be in more debt behind this wedding. I just want to marry my best friend. I want to do it for an affordable price and that's all. That's my goal in life. A lot of my wedding is DIY. As you guys know, I've repeated this over and over and over and over. So let's start with my invitations. My invitations are DIY. They're right here. I did this myself. So I have this software on my phone and it's called Canva. It's not a software, it's an app. Relax, April. I have this app on my phone and it's called Canva and I use it for literally everything. I initially downloaded it because it's kind of like a Photoshop, only it's free. They have templates and all that stuff, so I used that to create my wedding invitations. So then after that, oh, I also made my RSVP card. So I took both of those to the print shop and they printed it for like really cheap. It was probably $80 for 100 invitations, which you're not gonna find anywhere else because I didn't have to pay for the template, I didn't have to pay for anything, and then I was able to customize it myself. That was really awesome. So I just printed out these on a card stock, which wasn't honestly any more expensive than to just print it regular. So $80 for card stock and all that stuff. And I think they really turned out great. I loved them. The first thing I bought on Amazon were these these white pens so ignore my nails I'm getting married they need to be done whatever it's a Signo pen I heard that these were the best white pens to buy and they're amazing they're pretty inexpensive and it comes in a pack of two and I honestly didn't even use one all the way through with all of my invitations so these were these were great the reason I got white pens is because I knew that I wanted navy invitations so our wedding colors the guys are in navy and the girls dresses are kind of hard to describe but it's like a dusty coral peachy situation. I didn't want anything that was too dark. Like I'm very picky about my navy. As Claudia told you, I'm a picky person, but I mean. So this is the, these are the envelopes that I chose on camera. They're reading a little bright, but 
they're navy and they're not too dark so I didn't want navy that you couldn't tell if it was navy or black because I hate that you can tell that these are still blue but they're just a dark blue so I really like these and I got so many of them I didn't have to order a bunch and they're fairly inexpensive and that's why I got the white pens it would be legible on top of the navy the envelopes so to seal my envelopes these envelopes do come with a sticky seal which I think is great I think it's nasty to lick an envelope and then seal it like and hello coronavirus you they do come with a sticky back which I thought was awesome but to seal it more because I'm extra I wanted a seal so I bought this seal on Amazon and it's just an H for Henderson because I'm gonna be a Henderson and the seal actually came with the wax that you use so it comes with the wax and then this is to melt melt so you put the wax in here and it's to melt you put it over a candle it also came with the candle it's just a little tea light candle here so yeah honestly it sounds easy but it was a learning curve. It took me, I don't know how many invitations I messed up on before I finally got it right. But once I figured out how to do it, it was fairly simple. So that's all I got for the invitations. All of these things will be linked in the description box. All of these things, what? all of these things will be linked in the description box below. I don't know why, if you're not planning a wedding, you would want them, but I'm not judging you because some of these I might just want for myself anyways. Next, if you watch my video with Sosa, this is just an, insert Sosa is Claudia which is my maid of honor Claudia Sosa maid of honor best friend all those things are the same person <laughs> so Sosa is what I call her so if you hear me say that that's who I'm talking about if you saw my video with Sosa some of you guys don't know this but this little eye in the corner I don't know if it's up here or if it's up here but it's in one of these two places there's a little eye with a circle on it and if you hit that it'll show you the videos that I'm referencing so if you didn't see my video with Sosa I'll link it up above she told you that we made our own bridal bouquets which we did all of my florals are actually from Amazon Amazon. There is this floral company on Amazon called Ling's Moment. Honestly, a lot of my stuff came from there. My wedding is mostly greenery, so all of my greenery came from there. All my flowers, I'm going to show you our bouquets. These are our bouquets. This is the greenery that I'm talking about. They have baby's breath. They have these little greens. They have these here. They have eucalyptus, which I love. So all of these little greeneries are from Amazon, and it's from the same company. These flowers as well are from the same company, and it's called Ling's Moment. Also, we also made my bridal bouquet, which is a lot bigger, a lot more cool and extravagant. So these pom poms, I don't know what they're called, but these are also from them as well. You can see all the different types of greenery. And the thing that I love about it is that they group it all together. So when you buy a box of greenery, depending on which box you choose, it comes with the eucalyptus, the baby's breath, these little things right here that I think are super cute. But there's like a mixture of greenery in one box. And so I love that it gives you options. I love the different colors in the green. There's different depths as well. So I really like that. I really love the flower roses too. I think they're so pretty. Like we said in our donut video, floral is so expensive. So it's just easier to do it yourself. It's more inexpensive to do it yourself. I'm the type of person who I see something and I'm like, I can do that. And then I do it and it's a little frustrating and I get mad at myself for always trying to do everything myself, but it came out really good. So in the end, if you can do it yourself, if you can figure it out, I mean, why not do that? You're saving coin. So then I have more money to go spend on other Amazon things that I don't need. So that is our bouquets. My centerpieces that I showed you guys, all the greenery underneath the candles, all of that greenery is again, the same greenery that we used in our bouquets. Another thing from there is my table numbers. They're so pretty. They come on a wood and then the table numbers and it's acrylic and there's like, it's painted on acrylic, which I think is so pretty. Those all came from Ling's Moment as well. The only thing that I did to those is I stained the bottom wood. So when you get them, they're like a lighter wood, but it didn't match my donut wall and it didn't match um, some other decor that I had stained so I just stained those just to tie everything all together but those are from there as well another thing from there is my backdrop so I made my backdrop myself out of PVC pipe and I spray painted it gold and I did that actually for Camila's baby shower so I'll pop in a picture of what it looked like at the baby shower the only thing different from the baby shower photo and the wedding photo booth is that instead of the greenery and the Minnie Mouses there's just going to be like a white chiffon drapery over that that. and then over the drapery we're going to have like a garland to be the photo booth two other things that I got from there that I don't have with me but I will pop in pictures on the screen are the guys boutonnieres which 
out of everything that she makes I think if you're going to get anything from her shop definitely do the boutonnieres they're so pretty and they're so well made I've been to a few weddings to where they used real roses for the boutonnieres and then the rose heads would just fall off which I didn't want to you know spend a bunch of money on fresh flowers and then break or they die or something happened to them before the wedding or during the wedding because they're so delicate planning a wedding you learn a lot of things that you don't know if you haven't planned a wedding or been a part of a wedding but we needed boutonnieres then I thought it was just boutonnieres for the groomsmen come to find out my dad and Horace's dad and the ring bearer the important men in the wedding also have to wear boutonnieres so I bought another box of boutonnieres and then once I was researching who has to wear boutonnieres that led me to who has to wear corsages and apparently the important women in the wedding have to wear corsages so that's another thing that I bought on Ling's moment again I'll pop in a picture here these I really liked because instead of like a ribbon around the wrist it has like a band so it's like an actual bracelet and then that you can hook it on like the back of a neck the way you hook a necklace um, it has that on the wrist so it can fit however you need to fit and it's not going to come undone or anything like that it's actually on there good I learned that my mom my grandma Horace his mom and I don't know who else is supposed to wear one but we have extra if we need extra so I also got the corsages from the Ling's moment shop on Amazon as well when I said at the beginning of this video that some of the things are a little pricey the florals the boxes of greenery are like $29 and I bought six boxes of greenery and then four boxes of roses so I've spent probably like $200 on florals but it's still so 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 much cheaper than I would have paid an actual florist to do all these things for me so yeah it's still pricey because it's still for a wedding and you still need an abundance of things but it's your less expensive option so after that I'm gonna show you what I got for the girls so Liliana and Nyla are our flower girls but I actually found their dresses at a department store so I didn't get their dresses from Amazon but Liliana needed shoes that's one thing that's been driving me crazy too like once you think you're done with everything you're like oh okay I have bouquets I have boutonnieres I have corsages I have centerpieces I have backdrops I have donut walls I have my cake taken care of my photos my videographer, all that stuff's taken care of. But the kids need shoes. Liliana needs shoes. Camila needs shoes. My nephew Zayden is my ring bearer. Zayden needs shoes. The girls need baskets. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my flower basket situation. Ugh, it made me so mad. I had bought baskets for the flower girls and I spent like $70 on the baskets and they're literally the size of the palm of my hand. They're so tiny. They came from Russia. I guess they're handmade baskets. I don't know. I don't care. $70, bitch. $70? I was so mad. Claudia thought it was so funny. <laughs> I didn't think anything was funny about it. <laughs> Horace was kind of upset because he's like, excuse me, you paid how much? And I was like, it's not important. But I had to redo the flower girl basket. So I did that on my own using the same greenery. I just bought baskets at Hobby Lobby and threw some of our florals on there. But the flower girls, they only needed shoes. So I got these little shoes on Amazon. They're so cute. The top of them is like glittery and white they're just little sandals I tried them on her and they fit her really well Liliana has a really big foot for a toddler she's a size 11 Damn! but she's she's taller and she's thick or whatever these I found on Amazon and they were really cute so I have Liliana shoes I still need to buy Camila shoes but I did buy her dress on Amazon and it's so cute this is Camila's dress it's like a tool and the top is lace so the both of the girls are going to be in white and you can see like the lace detail it's like a actually a really good quality dress and it was only like 20 bucks so I'm really excited about this the flower girls are in white and I wanted Camila in white that way when we take our family pictures we can be in white and of course Horace will be in his suit but I just thought it was going to look really good all together so I love that dress and the shoes are really cute yay Amazon Okay, so the last category of things that I have are for me. Some of the things that I'm going to wear on my wedding day or after I got from Amazon. A few of these things are gifts that I was gifted at my bridal shower. So shout out to y'all who bought me gifts. We love gifts. Um, I don't have all of them with me, but what I don't have with me, I'll pop it on the screen. I did get champagne flutes that say Mr. and Mrs. on it. They are such good quality and they're so beautiful in person. I highly, highly, highly recommend these flutes. And then of course that reminded me, I didn't even buy champagne for the wedding. So we have to add that to our total cost of the wedding. So I need to do that. Y'all remind me that I need to do that. This is my note to myself, April. 
get on that. But yeah, they were so cute. Also from Amazon, I was gifted our cake cutting utensils. So apparently that's a thing you're supposed to have, like your own personal cake cutting utensils. So I was gifted those as well. I love that I was gifted that and I didn't have to go and, you know, spend more money on that. So these, these gifts, I'm so excited that I was able to get. Y'all are so kind to give me these things because we are spending a lot of money on the wedding. So all of the little tiny extra details that I don't have to worry about makes it so much easier for me. Another thing I was gifted for the wedding day is this cute hanger. It just says bride on it. And I love that. It's so cute. So this is what my dress will hang on. And then of course the photographer will take pictures of my dress against a window or a door, anything like that. So this, this just came from Amazon and it was gifted to me. I love that it's gold because that's our theme. And this dark wood is also our theme too so my cake wall is this color my um centerpieces are this dark wood color is this black scratch that it's black just kidding i don't have my glasses on we've been over this so that i thought is really cute thank you so much amanda for my gift a few other things i got on amazon this was also gifted to me is my garter y'all haven't seen my dress and y'all will not see my dress until the wedding but it's not solid white it's a champagne color i was going through gifts on amazon to put on my bridal shower registry and i came across this garter and i just think it is so pretty look at this what is this oh it's a bow which, oh look, something blue. I do have something blue. Cute. I'll have to remember to tell my grandma because she asked me, do you have something blue, something borrowed, something old, something new? I was like, uh, no. Obviously I don't. Whose job is it to do that? Like, is it mine? I have to get these things? There's so many things they don't tell you about. So this is the back of the garter. This is what the lace looks like, but this is the front of it. And I just thought it was so pretty, the detail on it. Also, I just think it's so pretty. And then I found it on Amazon. Like, it's so pretty. I don't know what this is for. I don't know if this is another one. Are you supposed to wear two? I don't know, but it comes with two. So this is the other one. Again, the bow and the champagne lace. So I'm excited about these two. I really love this. It's one of my favorite gifts. Another gift that I got for the honeymoon or whatever. I'm not going to try this on for you. I mean, I would because I'm popping or whatever, but it's not that kind of channel. It's not that kind of channel. April, relax. I was gifted this cute little lace number. It's really cute. It's really soft. It's so light. I love that there's lace on top. It feels really nice quality. It's so soft. Yeah, and I really love this. And then to go over that, it, it came with underwear as well, but they're just lace and white and you don't need to see all that. <laughs> um, but then also I was gifted this robe which is so pretty like the lace detail on this for it to be from amazon you guys like it's just so pretty and it again it's so soft it feels so good sometimes you get like cheap lace and it's hard and scratchy and this is not like that at all it's such good quality and i love the detail on it this is the sleeve it's just so cute so then this actually also came with lace panties so i have two pairs if i'm feeling spicy spice it up a little bit the robe came with this little tie around ribbon i don't know that i'd use this to tie it i'd probably just leave it open so yeah these are such great quality and they came from amazon <laughs> and the, and they were gifted to me i'm really excited about those as well y'all will not see pictures of me in them unless you want to text me i'll probably send them to you if that's what you want <laughs> um i'm not gonna show you guys obviously then things that i'm wearing on my wedding day with the garter that i got i needed jewelry and the thing about the jewelry is, so I don't know if you guys have seen, what's that show on Netflix called? Is Love Really Blind? Or Love is Blind, that's what it's called. Love is Blind, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet, skip forward like 30 seconds, maybe a minute, I don't know. But if you have seen it, when Gianna, G Giovanna, Gianna, I don't know her name, she goes to get married and she has the prettiest ear crawlers and they were so pretty. When I saw them in her ear, I was like, oh my God, yes. Those are the earrings that I want for my wedding day. So I found these on Amazon. They go up the side of your ear. I don't know if it's focusing, but I'll, I also have pictures of me wearing them. I'll pop those in here. They're just so cute. So I bought these and I kind of want to go get my ears pierced again, just so I can wear both of the sets of earrings that I bought. But I think we decided that I'm not going to wear them for the wedding because I did buy two sets of jewelry, the earrings, because I really wanted the crawlers and I wanted to see what they look like, but I also needed a necklace. So I bought these. So I got this on Amazon and I just think in person, they are just so 
so pretty like I can't even tell you how reflective they are they just oh they're so pretty but the thing with these is I'm allergic to metal so we found out when I was young that my glasses they have to be plastic because some of them have the metal on the nose and the metal on the sides so I would break out in rashes from the metal touching my skin it's the same thing with the bras that I wear if they have like an underwire in them I, I break out if I have it on for too long same thing with my jewelry so the jewelry that I wear I can only wear like sterling silver gold like real jewelry usually I can get away with it if it's plated for at least you know a few hours if I'm just going to dinner or something I can put on you know some inexpensive jewelry but these actually I put them in my ear and as soon as I put them in like they were maybe in my ear for like 10 minutes and my ear started to get so red and it started to burn like I could tell that my skin was reacting to whatever metal it is so I opted for these earrings and I really wanted to wear this set of jewelry for my wedding but I don't know that I'm going to be able to the necklace is also so pretty and with my ears reacting the way that they did I don't know if I'm my neck would also react the same way and I don't want that on my wedding day you know what I mean I might just find other jewelry on Amazon I might have to give up my Amazon dreams and go actually find a jewelry somewhere else. But if you don't have sensitive skin, if you're not allergic to metal like me, then absolutely those are so pretty. I highly recommend them. Let's see what else we have. I have notes of what I don't have actually in front of me here. Oh, my cake topper. So my cake topper I actually got on Amazon too. I don't have it with me, but I'll pop in a picture. It's just an H. I wanted something very simple. I wanted something gold to match my decor. So this is the cake topper that I decided on. Some of these cake toppers, you guys, like they'll make like you and your partner and they're like 200 300 dollars you already know your girl was not gonna spend that much money on a cake topper relax so i got the just this simple one which i think is so cute i also actually did buy zayden's outfit on amazon only because he's not with us all the time so it was hard for me to get him at a time that we could both go shopping and then shopping with three kids you already know your girl was not about to do that either so no i ordered his suit on amazon and it was actually a really good quality suit the pants fit great the vest fit great the only thing that i don't like about it is the shirt it's kind of ruffled at the top and it reminds me of like dumb and dumber yes, yes, yes. into that so we're gonna get him a different white shirt and I love the color again I'm very picky about the navy blue that I want my guys in I don't want anything too dark but I also don't want anything bright bright blue so I love that I was able to find this for him and it was a nice color and then the last thing that I got yes we're finally almost done the last thing that I got on Amazon were just these cute little bubbles and they have a little heart on top they're white and they came in a pack of a hundred they're so cute and I think that they're going to be I'll pop in my inspiration photo as well because I think it's so cute we needed something to go back down the aisle to after we got married at our ceremony I was thinking like sparklers things like that but it's gonna be daytime and of course you can't throw rice we don't want to explode any birds we don't want to throw rice we don't want to throw anything that's going to harm the environment like confetti or anything like that so I saw this picture of them coming back down the aisle and everybody was blowing bubbles so I just thought that that was so cute so I bought the bubbles for everybody to have at the ceremony that way once the ceremony is over they can blow bubbles when we walk back down the aisle so <laughs> That's everything, pretty sure. That's all the things that I bought on Amazon. I'm sure there's more that I just can't think of off the top of my head. I've got a lot of stuff on Amazon. It's just so easy to order and with the pandemic and with both the girls that I have, it's easy for me to just order it and it shows up at my door instead of me going to have to go out and take these heathens in public and have them act crazy and cry and ask me for a million other things while we're at the store. So this is just easier. That's why I love to shop on Amazon. Again, this video is not sponsored, but Amazon, holla at your girl. We gonna make it one day. All of these things will be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, this is where you can stop watching. If you've come across anything else on Amazon that you feel like I absolutely need, the limit does not exist. I don't care how much it is. The limit does not exist. Okay? Shh. Don't tell anybody. That's between me and you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It feels so good to be back in my zone. Our upload schedule should be back on track. I will be here Wednesdays at 3 p.m., Saturdays at 9 or 10 a.m., depending on how my morning goes. Also, thank you for everybody's kind words in my last video. Your support really means so much to me, and I really just needed like an uplift. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit the bell notification. That way you could be the first one to view my video when it goes live. If you don't hit the bell notification or you just don't know how
how. Don't worry, I always let you guys know when my videos go live on my socials. These are my socials. This is where you can find me on the internet. I'm pretty active there. I know during my break I wasn't, but we all know I was going through some things. <laughs> I'm pretty active on there. You can always see what we're doing behind the scenes here on our socials. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey y'all. I'm going to, oh, I didn't put any lip gloss on. I'll be right back. All right, relax, we're back. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep jocking. They chase me after school. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. <laughs> Horace, can you stop texting me like I'm busy? Relax.